<laughs> all of it, right? <laughs> Do you want your coffee? <laughs> oh, it's okay. I'll get it later. All right. Uh, hello, family. Uh, welcome to the New Breed to the New Breed podcast. Um, this is your brother Lavelle, and I'm feeling very, very excited because I have my little sister with me in the Lord. Um, yeah, Miss Miss Shamika. So, oh! <laughs> hey, everybody! Ooh, 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 everybody! Um, so, really quick, before I have you share, I want to tell um, everyone who will be watching and listening to this how we met. Um, I think it was awesome. So, um, we were at a Vama, I think, breakfast thing. Yeah. It was for pastors and people who were uh, involved in ministry and ministry helps, and um, said so been. Um, hanging around with Dr. Hodge, or Apostle Hodge, now, and he became my my spiritual father. And um, so I was just sitting up there and didn't really know anybody. And this young lady comes, <laughs> sat down. It was just so like your hospitality was just like like wow. It just felt really comfortable. It was, honestly, it felt like I knew you already. The way you, Aww, yeah. the way you came, you sat down, we talked, and even laughed a couple of times. And mm-hmm. So came in. Uh, but I just, uh, looking back, it was like a, a true, like, brother-sister connection right away. Right. Yep. And then, um, I, don't, I don't know if it was a year or some months later, um, you came to intern at um, at my job at Youth Build yeah. and walked out, saw who was about to do the interview. And, you know, I wasn't supposed <laughs> to say all this, but I told um, Miss Lisa, I said, oh, she's sorry. We don't have to do the interview. And so she laughed, like, well, you can't do that. But um, it was the gift that kept on giving because not only you were a blessing to youth build and where we work at, but you, you've been a blessing to me, to my wife, to my whole family. And um, yeah, I'm just excited about you. And uh, I got to meet your sister, Shauna, and DeAndre, Amber, yep. the, the, the niece Everybody. and nephew, the whole family. <laughs> so we de- literally became family. Yes. And so, yeah, I'm, again, I'm excited. And like I, I, as we were praying earlier, it just just amazing to see how God is in your life. And it's not just how he uses you, but who you are in him, right? But also the things that he's doing and birthing through you. And so I'm going to shut up so we can hear more from you. <laughs> but I but I am excited. So yeah. So I'm you. excited. So thank you so much, first of all, for having me on your podcast. Because I know you used to talk about doing a podcast all the time and like mm-hmm. posting videos and graphic designing you're so creative and now to actually be on your podcast and to listen to it and to hear how good it is it's an honor to be here yeah yeah honestly um back to 2019 when we met Mm because it was like a long time ago and me first meeting you at living praise uh, i was actually working for project joy and that was my home church so i came on that saturday to represent for project joy to announce our program but i also i'm always stuck in like serving positions right help leadership <laughs> do it so right, right, right. i remember like asking you if you want a napkin uh-huh. asking you if <laughs> yep. you wanted food and he's like no sis i'm good sis and i was like i'm sis you know I'm like you just <laughs> let me and it instantly felt like the family bond you yeah, know and yeah. you have been amazing ever since i did not want to work at youth build <laughs> oh. and then i was doing my master's <laughs> program and my dad was like well you already know Project Joy. You already know all these other organizations. You still need to get to know other people. Mm. You should go to Youth Build. You need to network more and expand your your circle. And I was right. like, okay, best thing I ever did in my life. Oh, wow. Awesome. Best thing ever. Awesome. Yeah. Awesome. yeah. So I'm so glad that I was placed here to awesome. do my social work hours. And then, of course, like, you know, like my dad passed away. And then you have always been there, always got us whatever we needed, checked on us, loved us. So yeah, thank you so much. No, oh, no problem. It's yeah. an honor. It's, it's truly an honor. It's truly an honor. Yeah. It's so, um, um, with with this series, right? Um, and those of you who may be hearing it for the first time, our first episode, I spoke about um, a vision that the Lord showed me, and I know He's shown other people about people that He is you, with things that He is doing in these last days, and how. Even with um, young people, this generation like yourself, sometimes they go like, oh, this generation, you know, <laughs> they, they bat mouth them. But what thing God promised me is that he's raising an army. And in my vision, I saw, I mean, there's other ages and stuff, but my focus was on young people. Yeah. 
And uh, what was so beautiful about it, that their attention on Jesus was so, and I don't see a picture of Jesus or anything. I don't know what he looked like. You know, you don't go into that. (laughs) But I saw that they were so focused in on him to where nothing else around the matter. They were just marching Mm -hmm. forward. Uh, There was like spirits trying to put things in front of them and stop them. But they were so focused and in love and locked in on Jesus that they kept pushing. Yeah, and he told good. me that some of them, you know, came out of darkness into light. And the promise he made me is that in my lifetime, I will meet them. I will see them. And so it wasn't you just giving me a napkin. <laughs> God was showing me this. She's one of them. Right. She was she's one that's of the amazing. ones that God is using. So that's why I'm amazed. Right. And I wow. get to be in relationship with you and your family. Um, yeah. And so the the things that we've been talking about. Um, has been knowing who we are in Christ Jesus. Mm-hmm. One of the things that, and, and I know you, you know, you probably can attest to this, like in being in ministry or in marketplace ministry, yeah. uh, you know, you have your nonprofit. And of course, we'll talk about that. But one thing that God was having me focus on that his people need to know who they are, yes. that it's just not about doing for the Lord. Yeah. It's about being who we are in Christ Jesus. And so as we've been talking about this, knowing who we are in Christ Jesus, you know, there's so much that have happened in our in, in Christ Jesus, so many things that we don't, we're still to find out the richness of what he has done for us on the cross. Yeah. But what aspect, um, I would say, of his, if the, who you are in Christ Jesus is he highlighting in this season your, about your um, identity in him? Yeah, in this specific season um i think i i mentioned talking to you like about being a conduit for god Mm -hmm. and yielding to god in december Mm -hmm. like god reminded me that yes we're his vessel that he wants to put stuff inside of us to get Mm -hmm. things out to the world like he already did everything it's us that we have to grab a hold of what he wants us to do and to do it on his behalf and also that he is a partner with us yes and Yeah, it, it's amazing to know that you're not doing life alone. You're not, if you're a business owner, you're not leading your business alone, but that God is right there with you. He's mm-hmm. inside of you. He's all around you. He's sending angels with you. And that's a part of your identity. You never have to be alone. Right Now you can that's pick true. up the identity that you're lonely. You're a mm-hmm. loner. You're doing this by yourself, but he never gave that to you. Right. That's you know what good. I mean? That's so true. he's been telling me like, no, we're doing this together. Um, I literally write in my journal or I used to at the end of every single journal page, like lead the way, Lord, lead the way, Lord, or go before me, Lord. And he's like, stop doing that. Wow. Yes. I I have sent my (laughs) uh, angels ahead of you. I have gone ahead of you and you're going to be successful, but I'm walking right alongside you. I'm doing it with you. you So stop saying lead the way because I'm walking with you. Wow. So that that's that's really what he's highlighting. That Yeah. And also a part of like being a conduit. I told you that he showed me in December, a yield sign. He's like, Shamika, you're doing life the wrong way. And I'm like, okay, what does that mean? Right. And he showed me the yield sign. And then he gave me an uh, analogy of like, the car's coming. When you yield, you stop, but you don't stop forever, right? It's not a, it's not a red light. <laughs> right, right, right. You don't just stay there. So right. you stop, you're able to see what's coming. You're able to see what people are coming. If they're walking across the mm. street, you're able to almost like see into the future. What's coming your way? What's happening? Mm -hmm. And God is like, you're a conduit. I'm trying to tell you what's coming up so that you could be ahead of it, right? You could see what what people are coming. Coming. And he's like, a conduit is like a, I thought of like a pipe and water going through the pipe. Something is flowing through, right? So God wants to flow (laughs) through us. Yes, he's walking beside us and he's also (laughs) flowing. So he's like, in this season, you're going to be a conduit. In this season, you're not alone, mm-hmm. meaning this is a partnership. This is kingdom partnership. So I would say who I am is a vessel and a conduit, and I'm also his partner. Ooh, right? come so on. That's, come I know it's a lot to begin. You hit me with Come on, come on, come on. You hit me with a good question right <laughs> out. So sorry, y'all. Got the- <laughs> no, no, no. That's, oh, my God. That's what he's saying now this year. Yeah. Wow. It, you're his partner. That's yeah. awesome. Oh my God. Um, so much here we go. Like so much was like <laughs> ding, 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 like like lights and uh, fireworks yeah. and start happening. But um, just a quick, quick short story. 
and I'm go, always going back to the season when I'm cleaning toilets and stuff. There's always mm-hmm. so much out of that season, right? But I remember um, I was working with Professor Dennis. He's w- went on to be with the Lord now. And we were lifting a very heavy um, file cabinet up some steps. And we had it on the dolly and we were about to lift it up. And I felt so much pain. I felt mm-hmm. so much weight. Oh, I mean, I'm like, oh my God. Wow. And then Mr. Dennis told me, he was like, no, adjust yourself just a little bit. Mm. And I moved forward just a little bit. And I'm like, I don't feel nothing. But I still had the same thing. And wow. it was easy and light. Yeah. And so in that, uh, and we shared the responsibility. Yes. It wasn't yes. all on me. But if I just positioned myself tr- slightly different, it was like, oh, this isn't heavy as I thought right. because yeah. I wasn't taking all the weight. Yeah. Wow. 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 And so in what you're saying, it just, it, like I said, big floodlight is on now. It's like, that's why he says, no, you're not working for me. We're doing yeah. this together. Yeah. Wow. Wow. How has that, knowing that you're a partner with the Lord, mm-hmm. how has that changed how you live and do ministry yeah so a part of ministry for me yes i am a church minister uh, but i'm also a nonprofit founder Mm -hmm. i have youth with a purpose we do mentorship uh mentorship for kids but also for young moms that are under 29 Um, we do a lot of outreach events we have toy drive we have uh, banquets we just launched the performing arts program so it's a lot of stuff that i'm doing in the world also like being a speaker and an mm-hmm. author and it's so much that's how i express who i am through christ right by giving to people hopefully motivating people empowering people and god reminded me that it's not supposed to be just me right a part mm-hmm. of being a okay. a conduit and the flowing letting things pass through me wow. is seeing other people's potential and seeing how we can partner together to make a huge like a bigger impact for the kingdom and so a part of you like saying or it triggered the thought of you saying it was too heavy my nonprofit was incorporated in june 2020 when COVID hit so everything everybody was working from home so a part of working from home i'm like oh i could do this i could do this i could do this i could do all this stuff and then 2021 it started getting heavy Right. If I'm doing if I'm grant writing and I'm the director and I'm in the uh, community and I'm leading all these events and most of the weight is on me. God is like, hold on. I never told you to do that. Wow. I didn't, that's why he told oh, wow. me. He's like, hold on. yield. Wow. Because I, I told you 2020 and 2021, my theme of the year was own my space. Mm. Meaning God called me to be a CEO. God called me to be a minister and to be all these things. But sometimes I'm a little scared or I don't feel like I belong in that space. Right. right? right. Or I look too young or I'm a woman or I'm all these things. And it's like, no, if God called me, then I'm supposed to be here and I need to show up boldly. Right. Because he put that in me so that it was own my space. Right. Own your space. I put it on my vision wall. Own your space. And then for 2022, it was take up space. Now you're in this space. (laughs) You're in these different rooms. You're in these different arenas. So add your opinion. Speak more. Share what God put inside of you with the world because he gave you a voice. So use it. Wow, right. So wow, take up space. Wow. And then for this year, it is give space, give <laughs> space, give space to people, help them to develop their gift. Hello. Right. Yield to them. So on my wall literally has yield to God, yield to people. Wow. And it makes it lighter. Wow. Right. We're supposed oh, to be with each other. We're supposed to do life come together. On. It shouldn't just be us doing everything. Because yes. like yes. when he calls you for ministry, when he calls you to do something, he rarely tells you to go just by yourself. Wow. He even even Jesus yes. had his disciples. Yes. You know what yes. I mean? He yes. picked he picked a lot of them. And then the 12 were the closest yes. to him. Yep. And even one still betrayed him. Right? right. So it's like you have to give people the opportunity to thrive and succeed. It can't just be you. I'm sorry. I don't know if I answered your question. No, man, but... <laughs> you, you know, no. Um, uh, I would say, uh, I said, man, girl. No, sure, kid. No. <laughs> no, that is beautiful. Oh my God. And it's so on point. I was just um, listening to another mentor of mine 
And uh, it was just this morning. I'm, you know, when I listen to podcasts, and I'm not all over the podcast, but it's a few that yes. I listen to. And one thing he was saying that even in the letters that Paul and Peter and John wrote, yeah. it wasn't to individuals, right? It was to communities, the whole church. It was to people, mm -hmm. right? And one of the um, the aspects or one of the positions of the church, he calls it a calls her a body. And he was saying how, yeah, this. It has many members, yeah. Um, and and the only way to really operate is through all the members, and yeah. So it's for example, it's like it just can't be the the pinky toe, right? And the rest of the body just stuck. Yeah. It God is it, and I love how why he used the body of Christ because a body is an expression of the person. Yes. So we're his living expression through mm -hmm. the body. So when the body is functioning. And everybody's doing their part yes. and working together. He is fully expressed in the world. Wow. Yeah. Wow. That, oh, that's good. That's good. What are some other yeah. things that, um, man, this is, I might, I might have to preach this Sunday. I'm joking. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> but yeah, and being a conduit. Wow. That's awesome. Yeah. And what are some of the, and, and family, I'm just, I gave her, you know, some, basic questions, but just know the questions I'm asking, none of them I told her about. Right. <laughs> it just kind of, <laughs> so if if you hear a slap, um, you know, that's just a uh, consequence. But how are you, and, and, and I'm, I'm going to do this because I'm your brother. One of the things I always check on oh, you no. <laughs> is the, the self-care part, right? Yeah. So in doing these things, being God's conduit, that's mm -hmm. who you are, and yeah. the partnership, how does that help with the, the where you're not burning yourself out? What are Yeah, so last year I was super burnt out. Like I ended the year and I usually take a break in December after our banquet. Mm -hmm. I took a break from December until like April from my nonprofit, <laughs> like a long break. Cause I was like, oh, I just need to hold on. I need to recharge. I need to yes. like recenter myself, yes. you know? Yes. And a part of being God's partner and doing stuff with God and not being like, God, use me, use me. Yeah. Lord, send me and you go yeah. before me. Yes. Because when you're saying God, use me, it's almost like you get in a, a performance type oh, mindset. Come on, come on. I have to do this. I have to do come that. On, and on. if I don't do that, then you're not pleased with me. Now you don't love me anymore. You don't care about me. So being his partner, it's like, okay, God, well, I'm really tired. So can you can you send somebody else yes. to do that? Can yeah. can somebody help me with this? Or he'll tell me that can wait until tomorrow. Or look at your schedule again. Move this off your schedule. Wow. Move that. Wow. This year God told me, and then shout out to Patrice because she confirmed it too. As soon as God told me, she confirmed it like two minutes later. She said, if your schedule is not working for you, it's because God is trying to disrupt it, change it, change That's it. Good. And as a CEO, Ooh. I have the power to change yes. my schedule, right? Yes. Yes. So I really talked to God like, okay, God, I, I don't feel good about this part. I don't want to be in this meeting, but do you need me here? Right? Because we don't want wow. to just close off opportunities yes. just because we don't feel like it. Sometimes our flesh just be acting up. Right. And we just don't right. want to do right. nothing. Right. We want to Netflix and chill. And <laughs> right, right, right. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, that's I my flesh eating. like to eat. <laughs> yeah, I, I love eating. So right. sometimes I'm like, well, I don't want to do that. Sometimes God is just saying no. Wow. And that's why I don't want to do something. Yes. Wow. Sometimes it is my flesh and right. I got to check myself. And right. it's like, okay, Lord, help me to change my mind. Help me to change my mood right now because right. I don't want to do it. But be with me anyway. Give me the joy anyway. Give me courage anyway. Mm. Uh, tell me what to say in this meeting or if mm. I'm like in the community or something. But it's literally me acknowledging that he's right there. He's a, a, a ever-present help, right? Yes. So it's yes. like, okay, God, well, yes. I need help with this. So what do I do? Yes. Okay, God, how, how do I do this proposal? Wow. Lord, I really don't feel like writing this grant, but I need to. So can you give me some encouragement? Or I don't want to check these emails. Right. Sometimes it's like, okay, turn on some music and just knock it out. Right. Sometimes it's like, okay, go on a walk, get some air, and then come back and do it. So literally, I, I talk to God all the time. And mm -hmm. I try to see who or what is available so I don't have to do everything. Wow. And that's how I don't burn myself out. Um, also, 
a part of yielding to God is like starting the day with him. Yes. I have yes. to give the day to him so that he can show me what's coming. Right. So I try, I try. And I know yeah. we talked to um, Mike Ross about this too in Bible uh, study. Cause uh -huh. he was like, I can't do that. <laughs> but I, I try to get up at like five or six mm -hmm. and I try to spend at least two hours with God. Mm -hmm. So that okay. looks like worshiping first. Um, journaling my thoughts and my mm. feelings, how yesterday mm. went, how the night went. God gives me dreams all the time. Mm. So I'm like always writing my dreams down. I read the Bible and I see what sticks out to me. Mm -hmm. Usually something sticks out, you know, he's yes. always speaking. Yes. And then I, I try to pray and listen. Like, okay, what now, God? And then I get up mm. and then like maybe I'm worshiping in my room or whatever. I don't leave my room until I do my devotional. Mm, got it. That's got it. that's when after I like make coffee or right. get food or whatever. But I try to start the day with him. Wow. And that also helps the day to go smoothly. Yes. Because you know, if you wake up and you're like snooze, 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 I don't want to go to work. I don't want to do anything. Your day, the rest of your day follows that. Yes. Yeah. So I try to start my day the right way. And wow. yeah, that's also a part of self-care. Wow. Yeah. Oh my God, this is so good. That's so good. And I'm so glad you're learning this now and I'm not trying. way later <laughs> and trying. trying to catch up, you know, like me in my late well, middle 40s. But you said a couple of things um, that I want to expound on really fast. But okay. I just love it because you're learning to be with God. Like yeah. you have your. Um, last week I talked about having those moments with God. Yes. Yeah. But then because of those moments, you have a, a, a natural instinct to talk to him yeah. in momentum while you're going. Yeah. Okay, Lord, you know, do I need to check this email now? Or, or yeah. you tell me to stop. And, and, and that's how you stay. And, and I love the word yield. That's how you stay in rhythm. And Jesus modeled it for us. Mm -hmm. He says, I do what I see my father doing. Yes. You can't see what the father is doing if you're not still. Yeah. You know, um, and so it's that like you know the times where you know um, I think it was when Lazarus died. It was like, Lord, if you would have been here. Right. But no, he he was on a whole right whole yeah. different. He knew Lazarus was gonna raise. You know what I mean? Yeah, so he, he already knew. We think he doesn't know stuff. Yes. We think we try to run God. Yes. We try to be the boss. We try to be God. And he's yes. like, I already know everything. Yes. Like, you got to come to me so I yes. can tell you. Yes. You know? Yes. Yeah. Yep. That, that, and, and that's it. That's it. And I think that's the biggest difference from people saying they're working with God yeah. and being co laborers together with them or partners. Yeah. And it's a big thing. And that's how we can say his work, his yoke is easy. Mm -hmm. And his burden is like right. Yeah. Wow. wow, this yeah. is so. And a good. part of like me learning to balance everything and not get burnt out mm -hmm. is because I was burnt out, and I, <laughs> because I was stressed. Like right. I, right. I remember talking to the youth build students like three years ago about stomach ulcers. Well, how mm -hmm. did I know that? Because I was in grad school and undergrad and stressed out. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And even last year, I kept going to the doctors. I'm like, y'all, my head is hurting. My head is hurting. Oh, They're like, saying. well, well, um, there's nothing wrong. There's nothing showing up in your reports. And I'm like, no, I'm literally getting migraines all the time. They're like, well, are you stressed? And I'm like, no, check, <laughs> check what's wrong. Can we get an MRI? Can we do something? And then I literally went to the blood doctor. She's like, are you stressed? I'm like, what? And then I went to the dentist. She's like, are you stressed? I think wow. you're grinding your teeth. And then my brother's like, are you stressed? And I'm like, Wow. Maybe I'm stressed. <laughs> <laughs> oh, all these, Maybe I'm all stressed. These, yeah. Oh, voice is right, right. Yeah. And think about it. I was still a, a CEO. I was still a speaker. I was still a minister. Still all these things. God was still using me, but I was just doing everything in the wrong way. Wow. Because I'm still doing the same thing now and I feel great. It's wow. how we do it. It's it, You know what I mean? It's how, how we do it that, that God gives us the increase, right? He may, we're supposed to bear fruit. Yes. We're supposed to do so. We are supposed to do things in life and create programs and lead the masses. We're supposed to do yes. all this stuff. It's how we do it. How we do it. Yeah. Wow. Ooh, that is so good. That's yeah. so good. I'm like, I have like a really calm demeanor. So even if I'm stressed, I'm going to be like, Miss Lebel, I'm stressed. And he's like, no, you're not. <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah. Like, I am really stressed. Yeah, just because you have a calm demeanor does not mean that your soul is calm. That's true. Or that your spirit is calm or that your mind is calm. That's no. true. That's true. So that's like that duck in the water. On the, but mm -hmm. <laughs> the feet are kicking mm -hmm. underneath. <laughs> wow. That is so true. That yeah. is so true. Wow. Now, as we're wrapping up, man, th honestly, this is ministering to me and I'm going to oh. keep listening to it because you said some key things and it does matter just how you, you do it. Yes. It's just making those uh, ment sometimes mental adjustments yeah. and knowing that, you know, you don't have to do God's part. Exactly. You can just do yours. Yeah. Wow. That's good. Is there anything yeah. else you would like to tell everybody or how can they find you? All that good yeah. stuff. Yeah. So uh, you asked me about identity, right? And immediately the verse came to mind, I am, mm -hmm. right? And then I listened to your podcast on you speaking about I am. Mm -hmm. And then it reminded me of affirmations and our identity. We think we find the, our identity outside of us, right? In the yeah. world and what does society say? And what career? We try to find our identity and titles. And it literally comes from within, yeah. right? The Holy Spirit is in us. Yeah. Even when we're doing our affirmations, I'm loved, I'm beautiful. It's this stuff that is not going to change. That's what God put inside of you. So when we're seeking who we are in Christ and mm -hmm. seeking a, in the Bible who we are, yeah. like we're a royal priesthood, right? Yeah. We're the head and we're not the tail. All these things, those things do not change. Wow. So I want to, if you're listening to this, I encourage you to know once you give your life to Jesus and you find your identity in him, mm -hmm. those things will not change. Mm -hmm. Even when you sin, oh. even when you mess up, even when you're busy, mm -hmm. even when whatever happens, who mm -hmm. you are in him does not change. Mm -hmm. That's not going to change. Now, there will be bad things like if you have a problem with lying, you got to fix that. Right, God said yeah. prune, we need pruning. Pruning, right? yeah. Prune the bad things, <laughs> but the good things don't. They don't change. Oh, that's I'm so always good. loved by Christ. That's so good. Like the song, so um, on my best day, I'm a child uh -huh. of God. On my worst day, I'm a child. That never changes, wow, right? That's good. So your identity, <laughs> identity is literally in Him, and that comes from within, and doing the work from within, and then wow. it goes out into the world. Oh, that's beautiful. That is beautiful. Yeah. Ooh, Soul care, spirit care, checking in with God. And then the world can see everything that you're doing. And then comes the titles. And then comes all the extras. It's like, wow. no, it, it comes from him first. Because wow. I'm, yes, I'm a CEO. I'm a minister. I'm all these things. But it, it doesn't matter. It came wow. from God. Who, who does God say that I am? How does he choose to use me as a conduit? How does he flow through me? All the titles doesn't matter. You know what I mean? It comes from the inside. Yeah. Ooh, ooh, that was good. That was gonna have to do it again. I have to do it. Snap, snap, snap. I have to do that again. Oh, sis, this is really powerful. Um, and, and to those of you who are watching and listening, please, um, like I said, I wish I've heard some of this wisdom. Oh. Uh, shoot, even last week. Like, but um, this <laughs> growing up, right? Because there's some, like I said, God, man, He is so much bigger then you know sometimes mainstream christianity has made him yes you know is there's you say unsearchable riches in, in christ yeah. jesus and you know you tapped in and gave us some of that um and so family like i was about to say please you know soak this in let's listen to it over again go you know highlight some of the scriptures and stuff that she quoted because this is this is life you know this is so god you know about being and out of being flows the doing, yes. the, the the partnering, because uh, you are his conduit. Um, and then uh, in the show notes, I'll have, you know, like your link to the. Oh, to I, I can tell them. Yeah. Um, awesome. Real, uh, also, real quick, cannot speak. Um, you mentioned mainstream Christianity. I know you guys are following all the main people everywhere. Make sure that you're doing the work on you and reading your Bible. Because you have to build your own relationship and everything online on YouTube, on Instagram, on, all that. It looks amazing. All yes. the concerts, y'all know what I'm talking about. Everything looks amazing. <laughs> Do the work and make sure that you have your own relationship yes. with God. Sit with him. Do mm. you can you hear his voice if he's talking to you? Just like Mr. Lavelle, we're sitting right here. Mm -hmm. If he if he says something to me, I know his voice, I can hear him. Yeah. Right? If I'm across 
the whole youth build uh, parking lot or wherever I'm at and you call me, I know you're, yeah. I know that you're calling me because yeah. I know your voice. Yeah. Same thing with God. You can't hear him if you don't know him. Wow. So study your word. Um, I can be reached <laughs> on Instagram at Shamika Chantel. So S-H-A-M-E-K-A underscore C-H-A-N-T-E-L. Um, on Facebook at Shamika Bogard. On YouTube, I think it's Shamika Bogard. My website is shamikabogard.com. And yeah, you you have a purpose. So find your purpose, sit with God, study his word and live boldly because the world needs you. The world needs what's inside of you. Yes. So be bold to you and God loves you. So thanks for having me. That's Mr. awesome. That's <laughs> awesome. That's awesome. That's awesome. All right, family. Well, you, you heard it. Uh, please share this. And uh, again, be All right. We love you. Be blessed. Bye.